competition. Also, the team of Scott Tricker and Matt Roth took the number one doubles crown when their opponents double faulted here on match point. That boosted East to the team title by five and a half points over second place Millard South. East thus becomes the first school ever to win five straight Class A titles under the current four division to format. Win five state championships in a row is something that I think the whole state of Nebraska is proud of, and we at Lincoln East are incredibly proud of it. But I'll tell you what, our players did something that no one will ever be able to say they did again, and, and I just think it's incredible. You know, it's a, it's a tribute to the school, to the families, and to the community, and I'm so proud of them. I mean, they are the greatest group of people in the world. <laughs> Lincoln East wins with 49 and a half points to 44 for second place Millard South, Omaha Westside. More prestigious honor today, storming back to beat Ryan Fuhr in three sets for the state Class A title. Until this year, Van Horn had not beaten Fuhr in 11 tries. That helped East to another state title, six straight now. The day's, the day's nail biter was the doubles title. Spartans Ryan Haith and Sam Nelson staved off seven match points, then won it in a tiebreaker. That prevented Millard South from taking the team championship. Here in Lincoln, this match not only decided the doubles champion, but the team title. Lincoln East in tennis. Nobody has dominated the boys' tennis scene like the Spartans from Lincoln East. Six straight state titles and counting. They'll begin serving for number seven tomorrow in Omaha. East a perfect 9-0 in dual meets this season. Only one player is gone from last year's title team, their number one singles player. The Spartans are getting the job done with depth and with confidence. Millard South has finished second for the last four years, so the Spartans know they have the mental edge when they take the court. They just know that you're from East and they want to go out and beat you because we've won six in a row. So they, they, it just down a notch. We got a lot, a lot of great players on our team. I mean, we don't have like one dominant player, but we got a lot of great players. A lot of these kids, once they started to win, really got the feeling and the expectation that they wanted to continue that winning tradition. And I think that's carried through. Obviously over six years, we haven't had the same kids. So these kids that come up through the program observe the others, work hard with the others, and then they develop into champions themselves. Best of luck to the seventh consecutive state championship today. Junior Clark Tapp led the charge with a title in number two singles. He finished the year a perfect 33-0. But the coup de grace was supplied by the doubles team of Ryan Haith and Kelsey Moran, who upset the previously unbeaten duo from Millard South. Millard South, by the way, finished second for the fifth straight year. Okay, come the Lincoln East tennis team. The Spartans are trying to keep the string going this year, and the outlook is good. Twelve seniors and two juniors make up this year's Spartans team. Once again, they've had depth, experience, the continuity that should help the Spartans capture their eighth straight crown. We have a very good team, okay, but we're not making any predictions at this point. What we know is, is that there are three or four quality teams in the state, probably Millard South, Creighton Prep, Lincoln East, Millard North, are the top four teams and it's anybody's game it really is going to come down to who is mentally prepared the most and who really wants it the most in the end and i have extreme confidence in my young men we'll have more on the spartans tonight at 10 o'clock tennis this 